Hey everybody, uh, Sir Williams here. Just want to do a quick video on uh, did God die? Uh, Christianity obviously says that that you know God had to die for our sins, but the problem is they also say that uh, you know because of the whole dual nature aspect that they believe in that it wasn't the divine nature or the God nature that died; it was the flesh nature. Um, I have a problem with that, and I'll, I'll explain why. Um, I think everybody asked the question, you know, did God die? And the Trinity and the Oneness believers obviously argue with the people who don't believe that Jesus is deity. And they argue and say that uh, God cannot die. The, the problem with that is everybody knows God can't die. If you ask somebody, can God die? Everybody's going to say that he can't. Whether you're a uh, Unitarian, whether you're a Trinity believer, whether you're a Oneness believer, everybody's going to say God cannot die. The question that needs to be asked is, did God die the death that humans die? Because that is the atoning sacrifice, or that is the, the, the death that had to be suffered, because it had to be the same death that sinners die. Okay, so, so basically whatever death it is that humans experience, then that is the exact same death that God had to experience in order for it to be sufficient. Um, the issue that I have is obviously God did not die the, die the death that is sufficient uh, because it did not equal the death that human beings die. Um, I'll go into Ecclesiastes real quick. I'll read this off. Um, Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5. Some of you may know it already. Uh, starting with verse 4. I'll start with verse 4. But he who is joined with all the living has hope for a living dog is better than a dead lion. For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Their love and their hate and their envy have already perished, and forever they have no more share in all that is done under the sun. Ecclesiastes uh, verses four through excuse me, Ecclesiastes chapter nine verses four through six. That is the death that human beings suffer, okay? And that is the, the, you know, and if you believe that when you die, you immediately go to heaven or hell, then I will tell you that that's, to me, unbiblical. Um, and that would be a whole other conversation. So, keeping in line with this particular conversation, uh, when you die, we're out. We're out cold. We're, we don't know anything. There's no love. There's, there's nothing. All right? We know nothing when we die. And if you say that God died and God had to have a death that is equal to what human beings die in order for that sacrifice to be sufficient. Well then, not only does his flesh nature have to die, but his divine nature would have to die as well because it says here, the dead know nothing. So when Jesus or Yeshua was crucified and he died, at that point he doesn't know any love for the world in order to resurrect himself or for his divine nature to resurrect his flesh because all of it is gone. All of it is unconscious. It knows nothing. Like, absolutely nothing. I can't say that enough. So, if Jesus was crucified and he is dead, and that death is equal to the death that human beings suffer, then who is left to run the world? Who is left to raise him from the dead? Because he can't do it. Because he doesn't know anything. He's, he's unconscious. He can't do it. It's, he's out. Out cold. So, there's the problem with the whole thing about trying to separate the flesh from the divine. No. We're talking about a death that has to be equal to the de death of human nature. And if you can't say that God died a death that is equal to human nature, then you can't say he died. Therefore, he, he did not die for you. It never happened. All right, if Jesus died, then he never died. And it's the whole thing is a lie. And if you read Paul speaking in Acts, he said, if Jesus is not raised from the dead, then the gospel that we preach is in vain. And so if you believe that Jesus is God, then he cannot die. Your gospel is in vain. All right, that's uh, all I'd like to say on that. Uh, thanks for everybody that's listening, and I'd like to say shalom.